Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to take a look at the SAP Business One integration with Starship. Using Business One, you have the ability to ship against multiple types of sales transactions. We can get into sales orders, deliveries, and invoices, as well as the customer maintenance tables directly. In order to ship against Business One, you could simply scan in or enter in the order number that you wanted to ship against here. Starship also has a browse screen where you can look at all the pending transactions. That'll bring up a view of all of your orders here. You can sort on that a number of different ways. There's also filters that can be applied if you want to drill down into a subset of data and narrow down the view to that specific type of transaction that you're looking for. We'll go ahead and just put in an order here and get started with shipping. Starship's going to bring over all of the order header information, display that over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You have the uh, company you're connected to, the order that was selected. We'll do value translations on the ship via code, as well as the billing preference, so you can map over third-party or collect accounts. Time and transit will display here. Your return address, if you have different business units, you can set up multiple uh, entities within Starship for different dropship accounts or origin points. Ship to information will be pulled in from the order here as well. With that, we'll validate the address. We'll check the city state zip, zip plus four postal formatting, street address, as well as the suite department number and the zone. If it's a residential address, we'll pick that up. Commercial zone, rural area. So you're dealing with a clean address and getting all of the address correction information into Starship as soon as you retrieve the order from business one. Down below here, you have the package and item information. Starship has the ability to enter multiple pieces, so you can do that here by clicking on the next arrow. There's the repeat function if you want to enter multiple pieces at once, or you can add a package or take away a package over here. You can also take items and pack them directly into containers, and we can push that back into a delivery note in Business One. If you're starting out with the delivery note where you're taking orders and items from different sales transactions to build a delivery, or if you're using that with the WMS application, Starship can read the packing list tables directly from Business One and take that packaging and bring it directly into Starship. Once you're all packed up, if you're ready to ship, you have your controls up here in the toolbar. There's also keyboard shortcuts for all those functions if you want to just scan a barcode or use the keyboard instead of the mouse. Rate shopping is also a possibility, so you can compare all of the various service levels side by side in Starship. There's also ship via rules available to automate that process for you if you want to take the decision out of the hands of the operator and let the system enforce your business logic for you. You can see here you have multiple choices that you can select from. We'll go ahead and stick with the carrier that came over. When I'm ready to process this, F5 or ship and process will complete my transaction, print out my labels, my documents, and we're going to send all that information back into business once we have it there for customer service and for invoicing. Once that's complete, the cursor will come back over here so you can scan the next transaction. And let's take a look back in business one. Upon shipping that sales transaction, Business One uh, has a delivery that's now been created. With that, Starship will write back all of the detail to the comments on the packing list. You also have the tracking information captured here. And if we take a look at the packing slip, we're going to record exactly what went into each of those boxes. So you have the items and quantities that were stored in box one and box two here, completing that transaction. If you're shipping against delivery notes, we can also take that delivery note and automatically turn that into an invoice. That's SAP B1 for Starship.